Hello there. I'd like to tell you all about this box. It's called an AS Rock. An ass rock. And inside it, there's a motherboard. And inside that motherboard, there's chips and things. So, what I'd like to tell you about is what's in this box. And in this box... Oh yes, I've done that bit. Right. Uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of AS Rock, but I've heard of them. And I've now also heard of this place called AS Rock Rack. And that's where they make things like... Um, servers and things and they make server motherboards as well as workstation motherboards and these are more workstation and servery than their normal mainstream gaming motherboards but the one thing that you'll notice that stands out straight away is the box it's very generic i think it comes for all the boards um, there's nothing that really makes it stand out so if you're building like a, a server or a workstation and you need ECC RAM or something like that. Well, this would be grand because normally boards don't support that. But I mean, some of the the, the lower end Pentiums and Celerons actually do support ECC RAM. Whilst they mean like i fives and i sevens and some i threes just don't. So you know that's a terrible thing. It's also not really a problem at the same time because most people don't care or know what ECC RAM is. So, um, anyway, if you're building something like FreeNAS, which is what I'm doing, it's why I'm doing this whole thing, um, then you'll need ECC RAM. Well, actually, that's a debate. Uh, you might not actually need it, but I believe if you're going to do certain things with it, um, you do need it. Um, and if you don't use it, you're at risk of losing everything. Which would be terrible. I mean, that's not what you want. It defeats the purpose. I was originally going to use a, an old AMD board. Oh, look. Oh, shit. I'm opening the box. Okay. Oh, no, not. I'm just pulling it closer to the screen. So, uh, yes, we'll better get on with the reading of the box. So, that says there uh, E3C224. V plus and I find the plus bit quite funny because it should really be a minus because um, it's missing quite a lot of bits of the other boards uh, that the same model have um, a look at the side of the box there oh it's grand and a look at the back and that's also grand oh it's a little thingy uh, and the, uh, this side of the box has just got a barcode so no expense spared there so let me read a little story in the back here right Dedicated to your business, exclamation mark. AS Rock offers a smarter guide to technology. Our comprehensive motherboard packages include everything essential. Whatever you do, you can do it better with a dedicated AS Rock service slash workstation motherboard. If you want rock solid, that should be AS Rock solid. <laughs> Performance and quality. Take a look at our range of dedicated service slash workstation motherboards. AS Rock server slash workstation motherboard series motherboard support. 24 hours of non-stop operation and 24 month life cycle guarantees supply which are ideal to develop your business the premium quality is assured by rigorous testing during development so users are allowed to obtain the most secure computing experience with as rock server slash workstation model series motherboards even with the toughest conditions this includes emi test temperature humidity test uh, vibration test mm -hmm. chamber test and compatibility stability uh, reliability well, wait, what the there's a cat in the corner. Where did he get, Where did he come from? What's he doing? Maybe he can do the commentary next time. Um, where did I get to? Uh, with over 10 years of motherboard experience, AS Rock is the only motherboard maker that you can trust. Apparently all the others are now not trustworthy at all as a result of that statement. So now with no further ado, uh, it's the moment you've all been waiting for, I know. Uh, we're going to open up the box and it's just like imagine it's just like opening up um your your christmas present and oh it's grand look at it it's all nice and white and they're bright and shiny they're not so shiny but anyway it's nice and um, what's this uh with paramount uh with uh i think this uh, maybe not not meant for me i think it's meant for somebody else possibly somebody who's german um and if you're german you're welcome to it i'm just going to put it down now good Right, uh, oh, there's SATA cables. These are great. 
uh, especially if you want to connect up a hard drive or something like that uh, or, or an SSD or whatever then um, there's two there and then there's a, a two packets of two so that's six um, for those of you who can do maths like me um, although that's about my limit actually um, which is good because I cannot can't pass that number um, this is the manual um, that's great I'll probably read this when I'm having a shit um, that seems like the best time because right now well it'll be a bit boring watching me read the manual wouldn't it um, I'm sure there's lots of useful things in in, in this manual but um, I'll be honest I don't really care uh, I'll only look at it if, if something goes wrong um, which is generally probably as soon as I try to use it because I'll put that down anyway and there's a DVD um, that came with it for drivers and things uh, so that's it's pretty crap um, and here's the back plate and I'm pretty pissed off about this because look there's no colours or anything on it I mean how much effort do you have to put in to actually achieve nothing like that absolutely fuck all um, so let's have a look at the motherboard itself here and it comes in this nice little packet it's kind of like sunglasses for the motherboard it, it's a shade darker here and um, although I don't know why because it's in the box where there's no light anyway so that cell seems a bit pointless um, waste, waste of packaging there I could have just I don't know we'll take it out of it anyway so here it is this is the motherboard this is like the money shot I know right um, it comes in this sort of little raft um, I'm not sure whether they're expecting it to be ended up in the water and it might need to float down the water but it's quite useful I suppose to stop things bashing it or it moving about in the box so that's kind of handy <coughs> Ooh, excuse me anyway I'll just ate some crisps um, so this is the motherboard there's a CPU socket right there I thought I pointed out to that down for some reason and grand um, I feel like I should possibly cut it out of this super little raft thing though I mean that would be a good idea hopefully I'll hurry up and do that in a minute I, I'm talking about the, the CPU being uh, <coughs> excuse me again been off to the side there it's um it is actually quite far over to the right with the memory sockets above it it's a fairly unusual thing but it's maybe not so unusual in the good old server workstation motherboard scenario so uh, yeah that's unpointed memory again I'm making sure you've noticed and that's the 24 pin uh, power supply and that's the 8 pin now the 8 pins in a fucking stupid place to be quite honest anyway we'll get to that right uh, there's a time 16 slot and another time 16 slot I think they'll probably operate a times 8 if you fill them both and there's a 4 and a 1 which is grand and there's a place where there would have been some old 32 bit PCI 5 volt, volt slots but again as this is the plus I mean minus model uh, they didn't actually come with anything when I, d I did that on purpose because so, I didn't need them when was the last time I used any PCI? I don't know. I don't have any PCI. It's all PCIe. Because we're all about the E. The eyes these days, or whatever. You stick an E or an I on the end of something, and all of a sudden it's high tech. What a lot of shite. Anyway, um, hopefully I'm trying to find some snips at this point. I think I am. Um, and oh, there we go. Thought I was going to have to fill the moment there with some songs or something. Right, I'm snipping it all out of this little raft. Um, oh, it's so delicate there. Look, I didn't, ma I didn't, I managed not to cut the motherboard in half. Which is great. Um, there we go. Get rid of the raft. That's grand. Bye bye raft. Now, there's a good look at the motherboard itself. You can now see the back panel if I move my hand. Oh, and I've got it slightly off camera. Oh well, never mind. Oh, and now oh, we're, we're extreme close-up now of the motherboard. So, yes, there's the CPU socket, socket 1150, which I'm really surprised I can remember what number it is because Intel Chainsaw sockets were often 19 for pants. Um, and there's the the the, the heatsink, which is there for the VRMs. And I think VRM stands for very rare mutton, which um, uh, is I prefer mine a little more w uh, well done. And yeah, there's the memory sockets. Now, they're empty at the moment, so it's got amnesia. But we'll soon sort that out. Then, then move on to... Oh, yeah, there's the back panel. Very little to see here. 
because there is very little on the back panel as it turns out and there's the a speed ast 1300 now this is basically a really shit graphics card it's got about 16 megabytes and as i say this is the minus model so if it wasn't the minus i mean it's the plus model or the minus model whichever if it wasn't that one that would actually provide a kind of kvm style thing uh, over a, a network switch network point um, but because it's the minus plus whatever model um, I don't have that so uh, yes it's just a shit graphics card basically 16 mega RAM or something like that uh, it's like from 1994 so the, there's the dual Intel uh, network card uh, ports and it's a Intel 210i if you know what that is or care and this empty space is where all your hopes and dreams would be ha huh, no it's where the uh, A-speed uh, network point would be if you want to use this KVM so you could use it headless is what they say uh, where you don't have to have a monitor connected and at the bottom right there you can actually see another place where there would have been something sold to uh, that I bought the not plus model uh, which is strange really when you think about it so uh, then we're going to look at something um, not sure what oh there we go there's the 8 pin CPU oh well there was the 8 pin CPU connector um, which is in a really stupid place um, there's a, a heatsink which is covering something which obviously gets hot um, and my finger at the bottom left on corner of the screen there which I didn't notice at the time um, I think this is Southbridge if these things have a Southbridge it's what connects all your SATA ports and all that and there's a PC speaker when was the last time you saw one of them? I think it was the 90s um, I don't really know why that's there and there's the 8 SATA ports so there's 4 uh, 6 gigabyte or 6 gigabit SATA ports and two, two, two gigabit SATA ports plus two more on a Marvel controller. Uh, I haven't seen a DC controller, but I've seen a Marvel controller. <laughs> um, there's the CPU fan. Uh, that's a four-pin PWM style connector, um, and there's a fan fan connector too. And there's also a three-pin CPU fan connector for those of you who are poor and stupid and can't afford a PWM fan. Basically, uh, another fan fan connector. And some SATA connectors, they're SATA SGP101 and 102, and I don't know what they are there for, and frankly I don't care, so hopefully we'll move on from this very soon because I don't really know what to say about that. I do like all these little green lanes and things though, I mean imagine if you were Tron sliding down them on a little digital skateboard, that'd be great wouldn't it, slipping and sliding all over the motherboard, tiny little Tron man, great. Um, What's this? That's a Novaton. It sounds like some sort of food mixer or something from the 60s. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, there's a jumper. Keep you warm in winter, you know. Don't want your motherboard getting cold. And this is uh, a very bad shot of the PCI slots that aren't there. And oh, another sh bad shot of the PCI slots that aren't there. And to the left of that chip, which is also not there. Um, lots of those little lanes again, like into your green laning. And the, oh, what's that? That's the 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 speedo. So it, it's at 88 miles an hour. So you're ready to time travel. That's grand. Um, if you're Marty McFly, that'd be very useful. And a USB port actually on the motherboard. And I think that is on purpose. And if you're going to do a freelance build like me, then that's great because it means you don't have to have your USB stick hanging out the case. It's actually inside it there. There's another little jumper there. And the PC speaker again because you can't have enough of that. Um, some more of the PCI slots, some more PCIe slots. Um, that's grand. Uh, there's the battery. And I, I think we've been here before. So I'm not really sure what we're doing here at this point in time. Um, that's the model number there, the E3C224 V plus. I think they got that the wrong way around, it should be plus the V minus. So you see you're missing a very lot of bits off this motherboard. Um, although I did save a bit of money by not buying things I didn't need, basically. I still think that naming convention is a bit, a bit stupid. So, yes. We'll just hover here for a bit. Um, it's great. I like how they feel those quality capped capacitors. So I bet that is good, but fairly standard practice these days. Uh, we don't want those shite ones that sort of start to bulge and pop open. So I don't, again, I don't know why we're hanging out boot here. 
Oh, here we go. Pulling out. So time to summarize. Well, that's been an unboxing of the ASRock E3C224-V Plus or minus, whichever way you look at it. Uh, a little screen, a little shot of the um, back plate again. There's not a lot to look at because there really isn't a lot to look at. But anyway, that's grand. Right, so hopefully that's been helpful to someone, or at least it's been something to someone, even if it's just annoying. And um, hopefully if you buy one of these, uh, you'll enjoy it, but maybe it'll help you see what AS Rock Rack is all about. Right, grand, piss off.